let's talk about some of these one-page proposals. The one I want to talk about right now is Alpha, the Alpha Formation Program. So why, on this one-page proposal, I've put down a draft why as to why you might be integrating this into your school or your parish communities. My why goes a little bit like this. To provide an opportunity to engage new youth and young adults into a formation and fellowship context that explores the basics of the Christian faith. So it's about reaching out and drawing on new people, uh, especially youth and young adults, into a formation program. It's pretty simple. But also there's a second why, which is to further form in the foundations of the faith key youth and young adults, uh, young adults already involved uh, in leadership of youth ministry initiatives within the parish context. In other words, identifying maybe your core youth ministry team or your core leaders in the parish context and using this as a chance to form them and to gather and form as a team, um, grow closer together and actually uh, break open, I guess, the basics of the Christian faith as one team. So that's where you're starting from as you reach out. Practically comes next is the what. So you need to conduct the Alpha course online. It's not just one thing uh, to kind of do a nice proposal or plan it, but you actually need to conduct it. And so realizing that's an 11 week Alpha course designed for small group formation, maybe eight to 10 people, that includes a series of short videos and opportunities for discussion. Also, it's important to note that in Alpha, um, one of the key and essential kind of ingredients to running a successful Alpha is food. And so how can you actually replicate that if you might be running an Alpha online? What are some of the ways that you can say encourage people to spend the first 10 minutes just grabbing a cup of tea or a biscuit uh, or using that as an opportunity for fellowship and just, just for discussion? Third thing is how. How do you go about it? So identifying those key steps, like identifying the video conferencing platform. If you're in a parish, maybe Webby is the best one or Zoom, um, but making sure that you're sticking to the CGU digital ministry protocol. Scheduling that program uh, with parish leaders, including the parish priest or um, some of the key uh, leaders in your parish youth ministry team. Promoting using the social media, especially that provided by uh, alpha.org, so the promo content that you get from Alpha. Draw on existing um, leaders involved in your parish to reach out and use this as an opportunity for them to evangelize and to reach out and invite people into that program. Promote across the parish community, including things like the bulletin, via emails, via the parish social media, and actually conduct it. So plan out those 11 weeks and say, these are the times where we're gonna meet and actually meet and ensure that those that are signed up are the ones that are gonna be gathering there during that time. Those practical three key points following that, the when, the where, and the who, uh, it's just identifying the frequency by which you're going to run. So it might be every fortnight, starting week two of term two. And you want to conclude with a little bit of a, maybe a mass or something like that. Um, whether it's a virtual mass or a real mass, maybe by the time we finish this, um, uh, finish this course later on in the year. Where? So maybe focus on the promotion via parish and ministry, Facebook, Instagram, emails, bulletin, things like that, but then also where you're going to gather might be in a video conferencing platform to begin with and maybe move towards a physical face-to-face -face if that opportunity pops up. And then finally, who? Identify who are the leaders and then also who are those eight to ten people that you want to reach out and invite into the, into the formation program.